this caused a lot of people to just um, not trust doctors, to not trust uh, mental health agencies because of all of the different um, pilot programs that were tested out on African Americans. But, you know, we do live in a different era. We do have individuals who are more culturally sensitive to our needs as well as the needs of other populations that we're connected to. And so I think it's really important to let those those issues of distrust um, just fall to the wayside, go out, um, seek mental health. And here's some of the ways that you can do, because I know you're sitting there saying, well, I don't know what to do. What's the first step in order to reach out, get a, a psychologist or a counselor, a therapist or a Christian counselor or a pastoral counselor or a chaplain? Well, the first thing you want to do is call your primary care physician. Um, usually primary care physicians are connected to a referral network and they can refer you to someone that's in your network work that will take your insurance. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is um, get a referral from a friend. Okay, just like anything, if we want to get our hair done, if we want to get our nails done, um, if we, we want to get a good barber or, you know, uh, go go to a nice club or whatever you want to do you get a referral from a friend you know what's the best place to go to get this that, and the other same thing with mental health just like hey i need a good doctor get get with a friend that you know has had counseling connect with them okay um and, and see if if you can get a referral there and the third thing is just get on the internet do a web search in your area try to find out if there's a counselor down the street around the corner something convenient if there's somebody that can come to your house uh we at engrafted christian counseling we actually go uh into the home in our community and uh try to connect with families because we don't want transportation or finances to be a hindrance to mental health okay because it is a right to be mentally healthy is a right because in order to live you got to be mentally healthy um and um uh, some of the other things that i wanted to mention was if you've ever had any exposure to violence or homelessness now is the time you know you may not know that there's an issue why am i tired why am i frustrated why am i angry where well, there could have been something that happened in your past where you experienced some deep traumatic experience that is resonating in your life and um and so you deserve to get that resolved as i said in my last video uh, there's no variation in the perfect gifts that come from God. And so you deserve to have access to that. Um, God has all these wonderful things stored up for your life. And so um, let's continue to be in prayer for those in Orlando, in Florida, around our country. And um, be mindful that mental health is health. It's wellness and it's life. So anyway, that's enough of my car chronicles for today. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. I love you. Bye.